Hill Street Grooves, another Monday night here in the nation's capital. Yeah, yeah. Man, tonight is going to be an In The Crate Vote special tonight, I yo. In The Crate Vote special. I don't even know what kind of combination of words that, that was right there. It's but, hip-hop. Uh, it's hip-hop I think, I, think we, I think we understand. I think we get the gist. You're saying all the right words, so think about who has, like, the biggest crew. We got mad folks in the house tonight. We drawing a parallel right there. You got... You got ten folks in the in the studio. You got ten MCs that we reflecting tonight. Actually, one, but he's part of ten. Word. That Shaolin Word. terminology you talking Word. about? Word. Okay. Word. Let's do it. Y'all hear that beat in the background? Let's do it. Y'all know about my man Dennis Coles. Uh oh. Y'all know about the one Tony Stars. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. In the, yeah. Yo, right. Ghost Dini. And that was the hands of God, DJ RBI right there. Yes, yes, yes. So tonight, tonight, it's it's all about ghosts. It's all about Ghost Dini, a.k.a. Uh, what is it? Ghost Molecules, a.k.a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Mighty Hands of Thor. The Biceps, <laughs> the biceps of Zeus. The Pretty Tony. You know, all that good stuff. But tonight, not only, not only are we going to celebrate... His music, his catalog, and and continuing legacy. But more importantly, in the area, we're going to celebrate just the uh, I'll say the creativity and the um, and the love and respect that a lot of the artists from this area have have for Ghostface, and actually have shown through a special project called the Ghostface Beat Tape. And that was put together by my man. You heard him. You know he did the. He hit us with the Isaac Hayes kind of like name drop gadget. Just step back. So we got my man here and uh and tell folks let's 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 get it started real quick, man. Let's tell folks what is the Ghostface beat tape. Basically, uh I got <clears throat> I sent an email out to all the producers that I know. Uh-huh. And that I had a personal, you know, working relationship with. Uh, and just told them, yo, just give me a beat that you would give the ghost. Uh-huh. And people did exactly that. <laughs> uh, there was a, there was a couple surprises on there that yeah. I wasn't really expecting. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you know, all in all, you know, I think the people liked it. Okay, okay. And now, uh, who all is on the on the on the project? Oh man, I got Praise, DJ Iron. Mm. Uh, I got Heck Dolo on there. I got DJ Dial Tone. Uh, got uh, Maverick on there. Maverick. Yo. Yeah, come, come on, name some more. You got a uh, <laughs> low budget all day. Uh, John on Lane, there. Kev Brown, Camber. Yeah, wow. yeah. Nick the Wonder, J- Wonder. JS, Ciroc. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was crazy. This is one of the things you do, and we're doing it right now. The ghost face, man, all the beats we comparing. Um, the great producers with the great producers and producers. Right now, we got we got a handful of cats up in here that uh, a part of the Ghostface V tape. Um, actually, just go around the room real quick. If if you in here, that's uh, in the room. Producers that are featured on the beat tape, y'all can just say your names real quick so everybody knows who's who's up in here right now. Uh, Gadget, I did. Uh, I think number six. I did uh, uh, Nights Over Shaolin. Okay. Okay. Heck Dolo in the building. I did the Iron Lung. It's Praise, and I did Staten Island Wally Hawk. I forgot what I called it. <laughs> What's going on? This JSAK, the best. I did Love Affair, track 16. Yo, this is Maverick. I uh, produced Rusty Oxes. Uh, I think it's track 22. Rusty Oxes. <laughs> All right, I think that's everybody right there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, now we're going we're gonna to kind of go around with everybody. Um, but. As producers, we're always curious to know some of your influences. So if everybody could kind of go around and say, name maybe one or two producers, and kind of outside of the usual, the usual list of names. So outside of, you know, people like Primo, Pete Rock, Dilla, Dre, even the RZA, who or name name a producer that you would say has influenced you or is just a personal favorite. We start with you, Gadget. Uh, wow. Since since I can't say my yeah, favorite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> say say another one, man. Wow. You know, that's, that's um honestly, I would have to go with uh, Just Blaze. Just Blaze, okay. Yeah, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, uh, brother. Brother Heck. Well, it's already been said when I did behind the beat, so 
my biggest influence coming up was Large Pro. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Uh, it's a couple. It's probably tied for my biggest influence. I got to say, the one I can think of offhand is probably DJ Scratch. Oh, word. 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 Okay. I'm a pretty versatile producer, so probably between Timberland and Quincy Jones. Yeah, this is Maverick. Uh, I think I said mine on my behind the beast too, but uh, one of the, my big influences was Buck Wild. And then uh, another one I probably, uh, another group I got to probably give it up to is the Beat Miners. Um, you know, they definitely had a big hand in, in the type of stuff that I wanted to produce. So. Word and up, and uh, let's not forget uh, Battle Cat. He never gets mentioned. Right. But Battle, yeah. Battle Cat is a monster. Battle Cat is a heavy oh, Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Now, um, and again, we can, we can kind of sprinkle, sprinkle this around because I know there's a lot of y'all in here. So maybe like one, uh, I'll direct this at you know one or two people. Um, but if you can tell me what, what attracted y'all to cre- create, uh, create something for the beat tape. Like what was, you know, what, what, what fueled you? So to speak, to to make the kind of beat that you made for the project. I'll, I'll let I'll let the other producers. Matter of fact, let's get Maverick on on on, uh, on the. What, what made you want to produce? Yeah. What? So what what made me want to produce it? You to produce the track you did on the beat. Oh okay. Yo, let me get the headphones on right quick. <laughs> um, in terms of beat, you know the particular beat that I did for the beat tape. Um, you know, like one of the things I like ghost on is like the harder beats. I like, you know, the runs, you know, that type of stuff, you know, that's like just ghost being violent. <laughs> you know, me and uh, Gadget were kind of talking about that the other night. So like when I thought about the beat, I was like, man, what's a hard beat that I would just want to hear him rhyme on? Um, you know, so I picked that beat in particular. And then on top of that, it's like one of the samples that he's already rhymed on. So, you know, uh, Wu Tang sound is big and like Stax records, you know, high, high records, those types of artists, um, Sil Johnson, you know, all of that, you know, Memphis soul stuff. So that's why I picked my beat in particular because I felt like it fit along with the Wu Tang sound. So, okay, this might be right here. But, um, this should be right here? Yeah. But um, basically, why I picked my beat, I just wanted something smooth, you know, so I had the little live bass going on, the live horns, uh, smooth drums, you know, give it that, you know, 90s feel. Live horns? Yeah. Okay. yeah I'm, I'm live learning how to, horn. Yeah, learn how to play every instrument, you know, <laughs> try not to box myself in. So, you know, just a smooth track, you know, nothing real technical, just, you know, it feels good, basically. You know? Nice. All right, this is so, right here? So yo, yo. On the left. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna go down to the ne- next uh next question for the next brother right here. Um So we curious to know what's what's what would you consider one of your favorite ghostface songs or beats? And to the brothers that didn't get a chance to answer the first one. So either any one of y'all, heck, or one of y'all, yeah. Oh, I gotta yeah. say, my favorite Ghostface beat is probably um Fish. Fish. If, fish, yeah. Ah. If anybody heard that track, they know what I'm talking about. That track was that's probably one of the one of the harder Ghostface beats. I'm sure. Yeah, I talked to Mav about this before. We disagree on this, but Fish is <laughs> Fish is one of my favorites. It's one okay. of my my personal favorites from Ghost. Now, now, real quick before we move on to the next cap, because you said Fish, we put you on the spot. Whoa. So who would you prefer if you had a chance to get get one of those kinds of beats? Would you prefer True Master to do the beat for you or RZA? If I had to pick, oh yeah. man! I mean, considering Fish, pick True Fish. Master did Fish exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I would say, I mean, I, I almost have to say RZA, but I want to hear more of True Master because I mean, he had a big hand in the, the whole Wu movement. Oh yeah. But um, I mean, RZA gets most of that credit. I want to hear more. I want to hear, like, what if the roles were reversed and, and True Master was the one kind of spearheading the Woot movement? What would it would it have the same feel? Would it be more aggressive? You know, what would, mm. it, would it be less abstract? You know, you know, so. Okay. I don't know. I'll say RZA, but I want to hear a lot more <laughs> True Master. There we go. All right. All right. And uh, Brother Heck, Heck Dolo, want to know what, what's, what's your favorite uh, Ghost track? Uh, I got to say, I like Mighty Healthy, so. Ah, okay. Okay. 
and and also for you too. Um, out of out of that Wu Tang production team, would you would you still take RZA on top of everybody, or would you prefer more uh, True Master or Mathematics or even Fourth Disciple? I, I gotta take RZA. <laughs> okay, okay, that's what's up. Um, all right now, let's see here. Now what if? Now for you, Gadget. Um, what if Ghost wanted to get a track from you? Oh. <laughs> let's say let's say ghost ghost wanted to get a track from me would you would you would you without hesitating just be like yo here's a whole project of, of beats or would yes. you be like let me it, go it's, back it's already been done he he has the ghost face beat project he has the project <laughs> oh he has a project right. okay yeah okay. Right. it's already all been right. done all right all right hey, now how do people get a hold of the ghost face beat tape the beat tape project.com BeatTakeProject.com. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 And now, this uh, last last question for y'all, because we got we got some more joints we're gonna run and make sure they hear more of these joints. Um, and this one's a little little tricky, but if you had a choice, taking and and we'll go by more so by I guess albums and hits. If you had a choice between listening to Wu Tang albums or Ghostface albums as solo projects, come mm. on, son. <laughs> that, that, that's not. That's not. That question's not it's, for me, right? That's for all of y'all. <laughs> all of y'all. All of y'all. Yeah. Really, oh. and say your name so everybody knows. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it ain't impossible. It's a tricky exactly. <laughs> it ain't impossible. So what? Thirty six uh, chambers, or you want to listen to like you know thirty six chambers and the W and um I, you know or Iron Man and Supreme it, Clientele. It's gonna be some people mad at me, but I'm gonna say I gotta listen to Ghostface. No doubt. Albums. Okay. Okay. The man has much more volume. Okay. Let's see. Man, I just like good music, but I mean I like thirty six chambers, but. I don't know, man. I like good music. Uh, that was a cop out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good music, man. man. We have a young, um, young Obama. Low <laughs> beat. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say Wu because you're getting. I mean, I love Ghost. I'm gonna hear a lot of. You know, I, I got all his. He's the only member of Wu I have all his projects. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, I want to hear Ghost and Ray sometimes. I want to hear, you know. I want to hear the whole the whole crew, the whole woo. Well, now you know you know the good thing about the ghost joints is you you're always going to get. That's most cast. woo joints. That's almost every woo joint. You're gonna get you're gonna get a good three or four of them. You know, oh, yeah. on every other song. Oh yeah. And now so. technically, when we say ghost, that does still encompass Theodore unit as well. So that's extra. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And we even think of that's volume. True. I mean, ghost by himself yes, put out what three times as many projects as a woo collectively. Yeah. If you look at his discography, it's sick. He was in jail for like what two, three years. He was, and then outside of that, it's an album every year. The man is crazy. Yeah, yeah. The man, he did something significant. Like every time, every chance, he's doing something significant. What, what, wasn't Ghost on every song on Raekwon's first album, or every other song? Yeah, almost yeah. every other song. I mean, and that might as well be. And, and he had his own. And joint. he had a couple. Of I mean, the cover said yeah. Raekwon featuring Ghostface. Yeah, on the yeah. joint. So I mean. Is yeah. Ghostface and it goes the most? The same thing, yeah. For, for, yeah. You know, Ray and Kappa. Yeah. So, do you think Ghostface is the most influential member of Wu Tang when you look at the body of work, or is it somebody else who's done something within Wu outside of RZA? Oh, outside of RZA. Nah, outside see of RZA. that? Well, that's, that'd be the main. That might be the main person. No, but. You know, nobody sounds like Ghost. That I, yeah. I, I don't, there's no Ghost. There, there's no Ghost influences. Oh, there's a ton of RZA influences. Musically. They can't, they yeah. haven't pulled it off exactly the same way. All right, we're going to leave that up for the debate for the people, but uh, don't sleep on the ghost. The man is sick with it. He done, he's yes. done a lot. He's yes. done a lot. Well, yo, y'all heard it here. Hill Street Grooves, the ghost face beat tape. Well, what number is this that y'all playing right here? This is me right here. This oh, this is Praise. Praise joint. Yeah, Fire. yeah, yeah. So, yo, y'all hearing it here. And all and and trust like don't don't get a twist now. I know we've been picking out beats here and there or uh, singling out a few beats here and there, but the whole project, yeah. the whole project is is not a game. It is not yeah, a game. The BeatTapeProject.com. Make sure y'all yes. Make sure y'all go to that BeatTapeProject.com and also go on YouTube as well. There's different clips for like behind the scenes and making of the project. Learn more about the producers involved. These are producers, most of which are, are from this area. All, all of them for this all project. All of them from this area, yeah. So make sure y'all, you know, know your local producers. Right. If, it's like if, knowing your local politicians. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
If they was if they were gonna drop a bomb on this building right now, music would not exist in DC. Yeah. <laughs> but yo, for real. So hopefully that won't happen anytime soon. That was, that was gadget. No shots. Gadget said that. But yo, we gonna we gonna keep keeping music going. Uh, we'll be right back once again. It's Ill Street Grooves on eight nine point three WPFW FM. Keep it locked here, y'all.